I think the answer to this is brute force. That's the answer to everything ever. In case you haven't noticed, it's getting a little bit late. 8.30 and I've still not quite left sight yet. Age old debate, is it a cake or a biscuit? Nice. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Artisan Electrics, where today we're going to be carrying on from yesterday, or for you, it will be part one's job. So we'll just crack straight on. All right, so a little hack for the regs in the 18th edition on premature collapse. If you're using any sort of PVC containment system um, and you don't have the proper clips to hand or your wholesaler isn't stuck in them, I like to use this perforated band for everything um, or galve strip, galve band, all round band, whatever you want to call it. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just make a little loop like that, measure it off, chop it. And then what I can do is I can then fix that with a nice fireproof fixing through the trunking into my wall, I can then run my cables through it. So I'll quickly show you that inside. Do that 25 mil hole that's yeah. inside there. Yeah. Um, I can get you a battery or you can just stick that bit in your drill actually. Uh -huh. 25 mil hole there. Yeah. And then the end boxes that I bought yesterday, um, they're probably, I think they should be inside there. Mm -hmm. The stop end boxes of conduit. Drill a hole in the back, mount that there. Yeah. And then the cable can come through up yeah. and into the containment. So what I'll do is I'll actually just show you it installed so that you can see a bit more clearly what it is I'm talking about with this whole uh, running the cable through it thing. Yeah, I'll grab the camera, prepare some nice shaky footage. There you go. I think that's visible. You see what I'm talking about there. Sorry for the <laughs> difficult camera angle. I'm up a ladder and it's really hard to show it. The cables are basically just run through that now um, and I'll do a few of them all the way along and that will basically resolve the issue of premature collapse. So I'll pass you back to our Asthmatic cameraman. There we go. All sorted. Hope that's helpful. Right, we was going to add a socket here, but that would have meant chasing around and then getting behind the radiator and running through. I'm actually thinking what seems to me to be far more sensible. Oh, I don't know, actually. The walls don't really line up very well. So the end of that wall is there and the socket is there. I want to try and avoid chasing out on the inside. I'm going to see if I can drill through at an angle and get to that socket. And if I make damage, well, I'm going to chase anyway if it doesn't work out. So it's like make damage and try and get to the socket or chase and make damage. All right, I'm going to just try it. I'm just going to get a drill bit out. Sweet, so he's done a nice job there. I've uh, been supervising whilst playing basketball, but got work to get on with now, so just. Oh. I'm trying my best not to micromanage. <laughs> it's quite a good perch to oversee. <laughs> Basically, we've glued all the conduit together and someone accidentally snapped a lug. So we've now got to like snap the conduit. I think the answer to this is, a, is brute force. If I'm gonna be honest. That's the answer to everything ever. Finesse is dead. You know what, what am I playing at? Just snap the thing. Probably gonna have to refix this. Ah, there we go. I'm so glad they spec'd 25 mil conduit. <laughs> or maybe I spec'd it, I don't remember. I've been cursing getting this down at 20. <laughs> you get your finger in there. So you can... Where is it going? <laughs> is it like a little 
There we go. Tea that is disappearing off, isn't it? Beautiful enough for you to get to there. That's fine. Age old debate, is it a cake or a biscuit, Jaffa cake? I can confirm they are 100% a cake, not only because when they go stale, they go hard rather than soft, but because in England, I think it's VAT, you don't have to pay VAT on a cake, but you do have to pay it on a biscuit. So it went all the way to some pretty high English courts to decide if they were evading tax by calling it a cake rather than a biscuit. And they had to prove in court the fact that I was not a lawyer on that team was wasted because I'm telling you, I could have defended any food place product in front of any judge. But yeah, they got away with it. No tax paid. It's a cake, not a biscuit. End of story. He says he doesn't like them. He's never tried them. No, you have to put the whole thing in. You can't have a bite. It's just so dry though. No, it's not dry. It's the perfect amount of moistness. I'm not a fan. I'm really not. Oh, fuck. So I've got a bit jammy here. Is it jammy if it happens repeatedly? Or is it skill? Who knows? I managed to drill through. Oh, and I'll just put my finger in it, so I'm gonna have to refill that now. I managed to drill through there at an angle and then drill in there and drill in there and kind of stitch it round. So I haven't had to do any chasing and I've just filled it, although I've just wrecked my fill. So I'll have to re, re smooth that off. But quite happy with that really. This is just a spur for one outside socket on its own. But yeah, that could have gone far worse. If that's the mark of quality for my jobs now, I don't know. Could have been far worse. <laughs> Any downside to uh, being recorded is I can't listen to music while I work. I used to always love listening to music at work. Yeah, when you're videoing for YouTube, especially because of copyright and stuff, we can't do it unless we want a bunch of copyright free music, like soundtracks. We're not gonna be able to do it. I should just make a playlist of copyright free music. I think that's what we'll do. Listen to some nice like river jazz <laughs> while we work. Some elevator music. I think what I'm gonna do with this, this WA, is I wanna leave plenty of slack because being a guy that does a lot of board changes, as you may have noticed, I hate it when I've not got enough slack on cables and we've got a huge void under the floor. So I'm just pushing the slack back under the floor. And I think I'm gonna take it into the side there. Yeah, I'm going to drill the hole there, take it in the side, bring it up, pop it into an RCBO. Also, in case you haven't noticed, it's getting a little bit late. Luke had to shoot off and it was just one of them jobs really where we actually allowed two and a bit, kind, basically three days for the job. But we've done better than what I thought we was going to do over the past couple of days. Got all the bits and pieces done. There's been loads of little jobs as well, just like fiddly little bits and pieces. I thought, is it worth driving back tomorrow all this way out to Watford again, like with the traffic, or just stay a little bit later tonight, get it done? I might just have tomorrow morning to myself, like however long I stay here, however many hours I stay here, I'll probably just take off tomorrow morning and then I'll go give Lee a hand on his job. It is so nice to see a bit of pride in workmanship. Um, inside a consume unit because honestly as you've seen from watching some of the videos that just really is unfortunately a rarity down nowadays unless of course it's carried out by artisan electrics i can't believe i just winked like that that made me feel sick i i just think it's very nice to actually see some quality workmanship if this had a company sticker on it then i would shout them out it just goes to show it doesn't have to be on instagram or youtube for it to be a cracking install and I, for one, certainly don't want to be the one to make it look any scruffier. So that's the most heartbreaking thing. I did it a little while back where I did a lovely consumer unit, spent ages on it, got it all really nice, exactly up to scratch where I want it. And I go back and some air source heat pump guy had come in and whacked a couple of circuits in and just ragged the cables through completely. Just like, it just looked so bad. I'm thinking, oh man, I spent so long like getting that nice and you've just wrecked it. I probably should be for the sake of the video at least using a safety knife or a Stanley blade, but I'm just so used to this knife now and I love it. Like, well, I love the flick, look at that. Pew. I think that is our tool of the day. I use it for fishing as well. It's just a knife I like to have on me. You have to be careful in England with the law around knives. Like, I can't really just carry it in my everyday um, life just for for work. Obviously that's a, that's a fair, oh, I forgot the, forgot the ground. Um, that's a fair and just excuse. Dark so 
so early now. Disgusting. Got a new van racking coming on Thursday next week and I cannot wait. It's actually been laid out in a more sensible way. Because I'll be honest, the way this van's been laid out racking wise is very impractical. Never gonna get believe what I've just done. Complete donut. Just dressed this all in nice, got it all lovely, and I've not put my I've not put my uh, nut on my SW8 van. So I'm sitting there loose. This is the, th <laughs> the thing we're working later. You just end up doing stupid things. When you, when you start to get a bit worn out and tired towards the end of the day, that's why I've made sure I've properly properly isolated it all right back at the main switch. When you're tired and doing silly things, you don't want to be gambling with your life, really, do you? So this is the old circuit which was powering the um, Tesla charger from the last episode which I replaced. It had type A RCD protection but it didn't have pen fault protection and it is TNCS so either I can put in an earth rod and go through the hassle of that or I can just put in pen fault protection. This is the downside to the Tesla chargers is they don't have that built in. So I've got this Garrow unit here to replace this one. Unfortunately this board isn't quite wide enough to fit all this stuff in. Wash this out. Get it swapped over as quick as possible because it's 7 o'clock now. that's all tested on this side I need to go do a couple of little bits on the other side still but I think that's the best I can get in here really um, just to explain it for those that don't know this device here um, this is a pen fault detection device so it's built by Garrow it's got a type A RCD and then this big contactor here this is just monitoring um, for pen faults and if it detects it it will open up the contactor opening up all the uh, the different conductors and I need to move that earth to here. So good job I talked through that. There you go. I nearly made a mistake there. That was actually, I always go through everything before I leave anyways. I very nearly got that wrong actually. The whole point of the pen fault the protection device is that it breaks the earth. I'm just on autopilot. You see an earth, you put it in the earth bar, but that's not correct. You want, um, you want this device in the event of a pen fault and your pen conductor or protective earth neutral conductor becoming live, you want the contactor to break. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Let's check the floodlight out the back. Lovely. That's all on. That's all great. It's all been dead tested. Let's quickly just do a ZS. Check what we've got with the end of line. End of line is over here. Let's see what we have. Uh, loop ZS. Hope the power's on. Lovely. Fine. That, maybe that adds up. 0.25 ZE. We've got quite a low R1 plus R2, but sometimes that's just the way it works out. You get slightly higher ZS than even when you calculate R1 plus R2 plus your ZE. You do sometimes get a slightly higher ZS, but that's of no concern to me. 0.63 is well in. Lovely stuff. I'm going to quickly fiddle with the settings on these floodlights because they need adjusting slightly. I want to put a little bit of cork into that corner there. The angle was too off in the wall to get a uh, get an internal 90 on it. Check everything's clipped, everything's clipped, everything's on. So the most satisfying thing, the last job, boom, completed. Very late, half eight. <laughs> That's the Tesla wall connector, all commissioned. I just had to log into the little local Wi-Fi network and set it all up. But I love, anyone that works with me knows I love tick lists um, and to-do lists because you can just boom, 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 go through them and then you're all finished. And then now if I do my timesheet before I leave site as well so that um, I don't have a very upset Mr. Jordan and Office and Co, then we're all good. Using Tradeify, which makes it very quick and easy for me to do all my timesheets and stuff before I leave site. 
and I like it very much. Start time was eight o'clock, finish time was <laughs> 8.30 and I've still not quite left sight yet, so that is a bit of a long day. And did we stop for lunch? No, oh, Mr. Cameron's shaking his head, we didn't stop for lunch, so that is a mammoth day. But it's what you've got to do sometimes, you've got to put the hours in. If you want to try Tradeify, then it is three months at 50% off if you use our code below. I recommend it pretty good. Uh, it's very much grown on me even more in the past few months because we've been using it a lot more. Yeah, go check that out guys. Um, it's late, it's one of them, it's just not worth driving back. It's a night where I've not really got too much planned. The way it goes sometimes doesn't really bother me, sometimes it just goes that way. It's not like we're finishing stupidly, stupidly late and I'm only about an hour away from home. So I'm going to go home and have a bath and fall asleep. And I hope you're comfy watching this from where you're watching this from. I hope you've managed to learn something today because it's been quite a fun one. And I've really enjoyed working with Luke. We're 100% going to have him back with us again because he's just a lovely fella and he got on really well. But don't worry, we've not got rid of Ruben. Ruben would be back with us. But that is all for today. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one.